Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and I am here with my new video in Salesforce ERM customization. The topic for today video is the briefcase builder. So in this video, I will be going to show you that what is a briefcase builder and how do we set up, how do we configure briefcase builder in our Salesforce org and what's the use of it and how this will be, how this will be useful. So before we begin today's session, today's video, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification alerts for the updates about the new videos. So recently in Spring 24 release, Salesforce has released a new update and there's a new functionality has been introduced, which is known as Salesforce Briefcase Builder. So basically what exactly the Salesforce briefcase builder is and what's the use of it. So the Salesforce briefcase builder, it's a tool which helps to choose and share records offline with your mobile workforces. So all of you know that we can access the Salesforce app. We can, uh, we can use mobile applications on both on our Android and on iOS in order to connect or in order to log in into our Salesforce org and in order to get the details. But many times, if there is no network connectivity with the Salesforce server, we will not be able to get the record. So in order to overcome with that problem, with that issue, the Salesforce briefcase builder has been uh, introduced. And in this Salesforce briefcase builder, we can create, basically we can store the data, we can store the records, and it enables us to create a versatile, simple offline platform experience and responsive to the mobile workforce needs. And basically this Salesforce builder mostly used by the field service, uh, mainly used, it will, will be used by the field service uh, users, those who, uh, who used to help, the, those who used to uh, help to the to the user and for that this feels uh, this uh, Salesforce builder briefcase builder will be used and uh, in order to use this safe uh, in order to use this briefcase builder it first of all we have to set up we have to configure a briefcase builder and once the briefcase will be configured successfully then we need to down uh, then we need to activate it and once it is activated then we can make it enable for the users, for our respective users, and we can assign this briefcase builder to the user and a team once it is activated and once it is required. So now the steps to create a briefcase builder, the step number one, we have to create a briefcase builder. There are a few steps. First of all, we need to create a briefcase builder, number one, then we need to, uh, uh, then we need to add records into that briefcase builder. So there are a few steps which we have to follow. So now let me show you, let me demonstrate to you that how can we use a briefcase builder in our Salesforce org in order to uh, create the record, in order to save the records off in an offline mode, which will be accessible by using our mobile phones or using by the iOS app. So let me switch to my Salesforce org and this is my Salesforce org. And in this Salesforce org, what I did, I just navigate to setup home and in setup home here, I just look for briefcase builder. Briefcase builder. So we have to click on briefcase builder. And as you can see, there's a limit for briefcase builder. So the maximum number of briefcase builder right now will be active. Uh, the active briefcase builder will be five. And the total number of records will be 50,000. And right now you can see we have only uh, no briefcase builder we have configured. This is a fresh instance without having any record. Now I just, I would like to add a new briefcase builder. So how can I do that? How in order to do this, I simply click on, uh, we simply click on new briefcase builder. I click on new briefcase and it will launch a wizard. We have to finish, complete this wizard. So let's suppose I'll give this name as, let's say AI tech one service briefcase. That's the name of my briefcase. We can add a description if you want. So I'm skipping the description. I'm not adding any description right now. Next. Click on next. Here we have to add the records. In this briefcase, we need to add the records. So in order, in order to do that, I click plus and I will be going to add records now. So I click plus and I'm going to add records from the account object. So I select account here, click account. And we can filter records. So I just want to display all those records where account type is equals to 
customer direct. And if you want to add a related accounts, so account uh, related records. So here's an option related objects So add related objects. And the object I want to add related object will be a contact object contact. And the contact will where the contact, uh, for example, the contact where the lead contact lead source will be equals to, uh, let's say through phone inquiry. So whatever, so I just want to add only those records into this briefcase where the account, uh, where we have the account and the contact related to that particular account, the list of accounts and related contacts. Click on next. And before that, you can add, a, we can add a filter also in the maximum number of records allowed will be 40, 50,000. And right now I'm, I just set a limit of 500 records. So we can increase this limit. I can increase this limit to 40,000 as on required. So I just increase this limit to 4,000. And if you want to create multiple briefcase, so then we can, uh, we can set the limit accordingly. Click on next. Now, the step number three, we would like to assign this briefcase to the users or who all can access this, uh, who all can access this briefcase. So I'm going to assign this briefcase to these two users, Adit and Sumit here. Click on next and the apps associated with the briefcase. So I click on all apps and here I just add force.com IDE and workbench. And finally, and once, and then I click on save. So once we click on save, you can see our briefcase is ready, but it is not yet activated. So in order to make it available for other users, we have to activate this. So I see whenever it is required, we can activate it or we can clone it or we can delete it. So I simply click here and say, say activate. And once I click on activate, my briefcase will be activated. And now the user, the field service user, they can log in or to the user, those who have been, uh, those who have, we have assigned this briefcase, they can log in and they will be able to access this briefcase. And once they access the briefcase, they will be able to access the record within the briefcase, uh, even if there is no connection available with the Salesforce that time. It's a, it's, so basically, this may uh, this provides the records to the mobile uh, to the field service user, mobile users in an offline mode. So that's the use of briefcase builder. And that's how we configure briefcase builder. And now you can see we have the limit. So if you want, we can set up more briefcase, but the limit is this. So we have to take care of this limit and we need to set up. We need to configure the briefcase as per the limit. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and comment on this video. You can post your comment in the comment below. If you need any, if anyone of you are looking for any customized training on Salesforce, they can reach out to us on the given numbers or they can drop an email or they can visit the website for more updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.